G'day gamers, Whitebot here at Filthy Whitebot74 with an unboxing, update and future videos. No gameplay in this bit of vlog here people because I have got some very exciting unboxing to do. As you see I've just turned my Xbox One back on. Um, I'm sorry the videos haven't been coming up for quite a while. I was busy all weekend. I've been busy the last two nights, beginning of this week. And I promise you the next video is going to have some gameplay. It's going to be a gameplay video, that's for sure. But... There's a couple things we want to get out of the way. First of all, what could this be, eh? Hey, <laughs> I wasn't going to go for the whole Black Ops thing. Wasn't at all. But I need, you know, people, I like my beverages. So I pre-ordered the Juggernaut Edition for the Xbox One. Turned up last night at 7.30. I meant to get it last Friday. EB, get on to that. Lucky I'm not in a full-on COD clan. Otherwise I would have been in trouble without a game. But I, look, I didn't do an unboxing. I got the PS4 one terabyte edition, and I traded my other one in. It's sitting over there. I might show it to you later on. Whatever, who cares? But that arrived today, or last night, I should say. The other thing that arrived, and I will leave a link in the description, people, is you can only get this in Australia, and it's an independent uh, brewery company, and it's called Black Hops Three Hops Aussie Beer. Now this cost me seventy five bucks. I don't mind my beer, but I thought I'd get it because you can only get it in Australia and it's going to go in the Juggernaut Edition fridge. So, this is the Juggernaut Edition. Let's do an unboxing, people. <laughs> Let me just, uh, 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 this is very noobish. My boxings, my unboxings are very noobish, by the way, people. Very, very noobish. So, I hope you don't mind, but look at this. Oh my God, look, you probably can't see. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Now I have got it for the PlayStation 4 people. Had a few issues on launch day, but it's running well now. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the PlayStation 4 exclusive control uh, console. It doesn't make any extra noises, but it looks like somebody came in and graffitied my PS4. And I like graffiti. It's a bit of that Banksy feel about it, but check this out. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Let's get into the unboxing. Now, the beer is actually not cold at the moment, people. Sorry, I hit my controller. So I'm not going to have the beer, but I will do a free-for-all match on Black Ops 3 recordings every time I die I'll have a swig or drink a beer yes I know it's not very mature but what the hell screwdriver because that's how nervous I am we don't have knives in here because knives kill people <sighs> so they say no we just don't have knives look, 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 look. Ooh. 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 yeah I want to keep the box because there's a lot of good stuff in here like this and look the bar fridge it's a little mini fridge that makes noises which I'll do in another vlog in another video just to show you what it sounds like because I can't wait. And these things, are, you could only buy them online and they sold out so quick that, man, the thing was just insane. So, oh. The games are rated, probably because it comes with a bar fridge. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, now that is sexy. So, I don't know, I've never, I've, you know, I've, I've refused to watch unboxings on on YouTube of this because you know that is a sexy looking box that in itself I could take that to the MCA you know Museum of Contemporary Art here in Sydney and say fuck your pictures of I don't know dog taking a dump that's art right there motherfuckers that is art and this is why and the Black Ops here I'm just so pumped man just so pumped for the cod era I don't know why but don't worry gearheads I've got some good news for you as well Oh. So that opens up, ooh. So, here we go. Here we go, they've got, well, well, well. That comes on the top. So what we have here, <clears throat> the game in a metal disc, covered up. Zombies on the front. Very similar to Black Ops 2. The tin, which has all the coasters in it. All right? Open it up. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. They're rubber. They are rubber. They are rubber coat. They, they've really gone, they've really, wow. See them sweating? Just the excitement. That is, fuck, that's an unboxing. Like, you know, one thing I'll say about COD, you can knock it here and there, but they have some of the best exclusive stuff, particularly Treyarch, man. Like, they've, just, they've gone gangbusters this year. They've just gone, go, COD Ghost for shit. I loved Advanced Warfare, but a lot of people didn't. They've just gone, let's go gangbusters. And here's all the cards. With all the, um, you know, the specials you can have, all the characters, all the special deals, you know, the, 
the Sparrow, all that kind of stuff, people. So they've got all that in there, which, you know, I'm not going to bore you with those cards. But we're going to get to the good bit. We're going to get to the good bit. Oh, my God. Excuse the butt shot there, people. That is the fridge. Now, it that's to put on the top. It can fit 12 cans apparently, or whatever you're into, whatever your poison is. That's all the adapters and stuff internationally here and there. And not only that, people, it makes noises when you open and close it. I'll be doing a video just showing you that later. One of the videos I might do an intro here and there when I get my room cleaned up and totally changed up because I am absolutely, I have been absolutely flabbergasted at the moment how busy I have been. It has been off the wall, people. It's just been crazy. Um, but, oh, sorry. but before I show you a couple of other things I've got recently is some Gears War news. Now, backwards compatibility, by the time you see this, will be up tomorrow, so you will be available. What's happening with that, people, is all the Gears games and how they reach are all going to be available for backwards compatibility. Now, the beauty of being in the Gears community is if you've had Gears of War UE and you have uh, played it before December 31st and you own that, but you've lost your copies of your previous games, like Gears of War 1, 2, and 3, and Judgment, <coughs> they're sending out tokens over Xbox Live for you to use and they're going to give you those games to download anyway. Okay, so that's a damn good thing. If you already owned a disc, as far as I know, as far as from tomorrow or late tomorrow afternoon or evening, whack in the disc, it'll install and away it goes. Now, I don't know if I'll be here on Friday night or not. If I am, I'll be doing definitely Gears of War 3 video to see what it's like. I'll be teaming up with some of Gears buddies here and there, giving you more Gears of War 3. But also, Elder Succubus mentioned he is coming back with the Gears of War 2 hype. Now, I only played one game of that online. I sucked at it. I never went back to it. But I can tell you what, with people like him, you know, he can be like the Yoda of Gears 2, same as Pertifier or Beast, whatever he goes with his GT now. I love to get us all back on Gears 2. So in the future, if you have Gears of War 2 people, install it. Because I want to have a Gears of War 2 lobby and I want to call it, uh, record it like a talking shit with the gang. I want to do all that stuff for the Xbox One. I want to try it out. Now, that's the important thing. That's that's the big news. I think that's fantastic for Xbox guys. That is just backwards compatibility. On it's just amazing. I've had a go of Mass Effect Three. I'm already on the preview program, and I can tell you, Mass Effect One. Sorry, on there, it just runs exactly the same. It's fantastic, people. It really is. It's and props to Microsoft for doing that. For PlayStation Four owners, I've got a PlayStation Four scarf, a PS4 scarf. I've got the Nade Shop one. That's right, because I am a fucking optic fanboy. This is. For COD, you couldn't get a better controller. I mean that, straight off the bat. And I'm coming from Xbox to going to this, so, you know, all thumbs, no pun intended. I've got medium dome sticks, which I find are a lot better because everything you see is a little bit too close to here on the PlayStation 4 controller. But the best thing about this controller is I can remap the paddles on the back. But take a look at those paddles, Optic Nature. These paddles and this type of grip here makes this... Fantastic, I was going to swear then, a fantastic controller for COD or Call of Duty and possibly Gears that we get on the PlayStation 4, which I won't, so I can easily say that, but mainly for COD. Now, you know I'm into my controllers, people. You know I love my controllers. I've had I've had uh, Aussie Gamer do a review on the Xbox One Elite. I've had Harmish One, and several people asked me compared between the, the Scuf One and the Scuf PS4. Now, the Xbox One controller is a fatty, takes a while to get used to, but you do get used to it. Um, the paddles on the back are very good. They've improved it. Very good controller, great grip. I've got one especially for Gears of War and this one for all that type of things. But what I will say is, without a doubt, they're pretty close. These two are very close. I mean, I have to say, this, with even with COD, with the microphone playing for here, certain sounds here and there when you're playing on multiplayer, shit and brick people, that's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. It's that little extra touch in the Call of Duty community, particularly on this controller here, it just makes it a little bit better. I'm just saying that. I haven't tried COD Black Ops 3 yet with the Xbox One, but fanboys, calm down. But what I will say is they've asked me to do a comparison video. I will be doing a comparison video in depth in the future because I have an Xbox One Elite controller. And what I will tell you now, people, is not to mention the fact that the packaging is second to none. The controller weighs a fair bit, but the, the choices you've got, You've got concave, unconcave, medium to small, large sticks, which are easy to take off. 
you have paddles on the back, you have four or two if you want to, and they come off, but they're magnetized, but trust me, they'll never come off when you're playing, so already I can tell you straight away, fantastic feeling controller, better grip, but not only that, people, you have what the triggered stops, which are normally on the scuff, you can have for COD and Halo, for shooters, or just open. And that, in itself, is bloody good. Plus, you've got two pre-programs to set in. I'm going to crank this puppy before I give you a review on that, but I will tell you this. The Scuff 1's trigger stops aren't as good as the Xbox 360 Scuff. I was asked by Amish 1, which do I favor of all? And I'm just going to tell you straight out, the Xbox 360 controller, to date, by far, is the best console controller you'll ever get. Wide Scuff to go. Nothing beats that puppy there. I'll never get rid of it. I mean, if we get attacked by aliens, that's the first thing I'm grabbing. Jokes aside, it's a bloody good control. But this thing is heavy. It's built out of metal. So it's like Captain America's shield. Um, had battery rechargeable. And the other thing I like about it is new and old headsets can be adapted into it. It is 200 bucks. So people go, so that's a lot of money. 235 225 So think about that, people. Plus you get the great customer service of both Scuff and Microsoft. Both these companies have great customer service. Not too sure about PlayStation's customer service. I had problems with it in the past, but Scuff and Xbox One, second to none. So look, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video. Gears of War, people. We're getting back to the old school, onto the new school, if that makes sense. Um, of course, with the Xbox Elite controller, you've got to download the app, but I'll go into more in depth about that. Sorry this has got no gameplay, but this is an unboxing. Just letting you know where I'm at, all my subscribers. I love you all, but I have been busy, and the reason I'm going to tell you why I've been busy is because I've got a lady in my life. And that's uh, taking a bit of time because I've got a prestige on that shit. You know what I'm saying? I've got to rank up on it. I've got a lot of work to do. But there'll be more videos coming out in the future. Frag and tag. Be good to those that own you. Leave a comment in the description what future videos you want to see from me as well in comments. And leave a like if you want to or a dislike. And yes, to the hater of known of the account, fuck off. Please give me more of your negativity because it seems to be working in my favor when you said I'll never get a date. I got one. Frag a tag, motherfuckers. Yeah!